Curling Club, we're glad to have you. Anybody done this before? No. No, so new experience. You've been watching a lot of curling on TV this week. Um, <laughs> you, you know you can try this because um, anybody was anybody ready to go try the, the uh, skeleton this oh, week? Yeah. No, you didn't want to do a skeleton. Uh, ski jumping. <laughs> but curling we can do, right? Yes, okay, I got it. That's, that's, that's how I got here four years ago, too. So that, that's, that's how that works. All right, so, um, so what we're going to do is take you through a series of drills today that are, going, that are designed to help you develop the body mechanics to deliver a curling rock. We're also going to teach you about sweeping. Okay, so we're going to go through a whole series, and you're going to go from station to station to develop these skills. It takes about 30, 45 minutes to work your way through this. All right, my job is to teach you the final position here on dry land before you have to get on the ice and add motion to all this. So we're going to do that first. First question, anybody left-handed? Yes, no left-handers. That makes my life a lot easier. I'm right-handed, and I, I, I'm very right-handed, unfortunately. Okay. <laughs> All right, let me look at everybody's shoes real quick. Everybody looks like they have athletic shoes. Those aren't, but you're not, go you're not doing this. You're not in the group. Okay, all right, so you're fine. Okay, so everybody's got good shoes with good grip. Let me show you what my curling shoes look like because they're a little bit different. I have special shoes, okay? This is my right shoe. My right foot has a rubber sole. This is for grip, okay? It's a normal rubber sole, right? This is my left foot. Looks like it's got a rubber sole on it. It's rubber, it's sticky, it's grippy, but this comes off to reveal a Teflon sole. Teflon, just like you cook with on, you know, make your scrambled eggs on. All right, so that's for sliding. So that is my left foot, my non-dominant foot. Make sense? Okay, you're pushing with the right foot, so you need some grip back there, but you're sliding on the left foot. The position that you're going to get in is a deep lunge. I'll show you what that looks like, okay? So my left foot is forward and underneath my chest. My right foot is extended behind me. Just like so. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the, the particulars of this position. Right now, my left foot is under my chest, center to my body. All my weight, most of my weight, is actually on this leg. My slider foot, right? The one that's unstable, that's where all my weight is. Okay, <laughs> my right leg is extended behind me, and my foot is turned so that the laces are on the ground. I'm not on the toe or the ball of my foot. I'm on the um, top of my foot. And my knee is off the ground, okay? Now. Everybody else needs to do the same thing. So what we're going to have to do is spread out a little bit here. I'll tell you, if you go in this direction, it's not quite enough room. You probably need to be turned in that direction. <laughs> All right. So left foot goes forward. Right foot is behind you. Flip the foot over so the laces are on the ground. Just forward. Yeah, yep. Yeah, if you can avoid it. That'd be good. Yep. Now, if you can, flip the foot over. So you may need to stretch the leg out a little bit further back. Better. Okay. You want to be stable. You shouldn't have to fall over. All right. That's okay. When you're out there, you're going to have a broom or something to help you. Another balance point, but we're doing this without right now. All right. Looks pretty good. Feel comfortable? You got a little stretch. Everybody can get up now. So everybody's had a stretch. Huh? Front foot should be flat. Should be flat, exactly. Want it flat. Now, some of the people that you see on TV uh -huh. do a different delivery style. We're not going to emulate them because we don't want anybody to tear their knees up. Okay, all right. So, all right. Now, we're going to head out on the ice. Has anybody given you all the safety talk yet? Okay. Here's, it's a, I'll sum it up in a nutshell. Ice is slippery. It is not like the regular ground. You take small steps. You do not run. Okay? Be mindful of all the things that are on the ground there so that you don't trip over those rocks and stabilizers and brooms and things that are laying around. If a broom comes, I mean, if a rock comes towards you, do not try to stop it with your foot. Okay? It'll take you out. It's 41 pounds. Do not pick up a 41 pound stone. I see a lot of Georgia Tech emblems here. All right? That change, you guys know your physics. It changes, changes your um, center of gravity on an unstable surface. You're going to fall over and you're going to buy a trip to the emergency room if you pick up a stone. Do not do that. 